Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Tara, Tara Tiana, and as y'all read by that title, everything on my face is affordable because it's all from the drugstore. So who said you cannot be cute on a budget? You do not have to go spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars to look good, okay? Anyways, well, I'm gonna stop talking, let's just get into the video. So starting out, I'm using my Wet n Wild eyebrow pencil, and yes, y'all seen it correctly, it was only 99 cents. So I'm just going to outline my eyebrows, and I already have the eyebrow tutorial, so I'm not gonna go into detail, but I will definitely leave a link in the description box and up top. So next I'm using my e.l.f. concealer to carve out my brows and I'm only going to use it on the bottom because it is uh, a few shades lighter than my skin tone and I do not want halo brows. Next I'm going to use my foundation for the top so you know it evens everything out. Next, I'm just going to clean my face with a makeup wipe and I'm going to take this oil and use it to moisturize my face and y'all this oil smells so good I love it and ever since I got it I've been using it every single day Now I'm just using this as my primer and I don't know if some of y'all like remember when this was like a whole trend but I never stopped using it because it was just so good and you just want to apply it to your face and then once it gets tacky put on your foundation. Now I'm just basically putting on my foundation with a brush and I really like using a brush first because it makes everything like even and I don't have to use as much product then after that I just blend it out with a sponge. And just look at how flawless it looks. That's why I love going in with a brush first and then using the sponge. So next, I'm just taking my e.l.f. concealer and I'm using it to highlight. And y'all, I love this concealer so much. Like, I'm starting to love it more than the LA Girl Pro Concealer. But the only thing is, it dries really fast. So you have to, like, blend it out fast or else it'll be dry and it does not move. Look at how good the concealer blended out. But anyways, I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and use it to contour my face. But in the beginning, I used a little bit too much, and y'all gonna see that, but I did end up fixing it. So I'm just letting y'all know now, a little bit goes a long way. Start off small. See, look at that, this look like a mess. But I ended up fixing it, so just stay tuned to the end because I would not leave the house looking like that. So to fix it, I just added a little bit more concealer just so it could like cancel out some of the contour because girl, that was looking rough. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out until everything starts to look right. So now I'm just going to set my under eyes just a little bit so I can do my eyeliner and my concealer won't crease. Now I'm just going to set all my highlighted areas and y'all I really love this setting powder because it's the perfect color. I don't have to mix setting powders anymore and it does not get flashback like y'all. This is a bomb and it's cheap. So now I'm just dusting everything away and then I'm gonna take this uh, pressed powder by Black Radiance to contour my face. And y'all, this stuff you only need a little bit because a lot goes a long way. But I may just be saying that because mine is cracked up. But still start off small just in case. I'm just going to carve my contour with that same powder but just on a morphe sponge hey y'all i just can't get over the fact that this powder is just so good like you need to get this powder okay period and after i'm 
done brushing everything away, I'm just going to use the same powder and contour my nose and then blend it into my crease and use it as eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take my facial spray and really drench my face in it because my tip to you guys is to wet your face a lot and then push all the like spray into your skin with a sponge and this really helps your makeup stay on all night and make it look like skin y'all i'm telling y'all just do it spray your face and then set it with your sponge it'll change your life but the way i like to do it is set your highlighted areas first and then use the back of the sponge to do the contoured areas and this is me being dramatic ignore this i just did not want to leave this out because y'all who do i think i am now I just like to take my eyebrow gel and brush my eyebrow hairs into place so they can really like be more defined because I don't want my hairs like all over the place. Then after that I'm going to take my highlighter and really focus on highlighting the skin because this will really make or break your look. And the way I like to do it is just tap it onto the areas that I like highlighted. I like to start off very very light and then work my way up so I'm just spraying my face which is going to intensify the highlighter and as y'all see I switched my brush to a more defined brush because this really like puts your highlighter in place I'm still using the darker shade because I like to have an ombre effect I use the darker first and then I go on with that lighter highlighter shade then I use the bigger brush and I really just go ham with the highlighter like really ain't nothing to it but to do it <laughs> As y'all can see now, I'm just taking my mascara and just putting it on my eyelashes because I'm going to put on my lashes next. And I don't show y'all how I apply my lashes because literally y'all wouldn't be able to see it because I put the mirror so close to my eyes. But y'all, a tutorial is coming soon. Now I'm taking a makeup wipe and wiping off all the foundation that was on my lips. And I'm going to go back in with that same oil that I moisturized my face with and just moisturize my lips because you don't want crusty lips under lip gloss because y'all, that's nasty. Like, get it together. Next, I'm just going to line my lips with the NYX lip liner. And I had clips of the lip liner and lip gloss for the price. But it'll be in the description box because the files are missing. I don't know what happened. So I'm just going to line it on the outer edge and use my butter gloss in the middle edge. And then I'm going to take my clear lip gloss from the drugstore or the beauty supply store and blend it all together. Because I like it super, super glossy. But that's just me. You don't have to do it. And this is me showing y'all that ain't no flashback. Okay, period. Ask she who? Because I don't know her. all right y'all so this is the finished look i hope y'all enjoyed if y'all did don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below and make sure you turn on that notification bell okay because it's almost summertime and i will be uploading consistently okay period i'll see y'all in my next video they said rico you so nasty i said thank you very much yeah. he just want to eat me like some candy but i'm not his buttercup <laughs>